the next generation of Suzuki Grand Vitara, which appeared in 2005, despite the lost frame, retained a full-fledged off-road transmission. Thanks to the pricing policy of Suzuki Grand Vitara, it sold very well in Russia. But it's not just the price. In its class, the model simply has no competitors in terms of the combination of such components as independent suspensions, permanent all-wheel drive, low gear and center differential lock. And here it must be added that not all Grand Vitara can boast of such a transmission. Three-door versions were offered with a simplified all-wheel drive scheme. In addition, they are almost half a meter shorter than the most common five doors, in general, almost a different car. Five years of operation on Russian roads is a long time. Here it is just right, like the military, to sometimes count a year for two, or even for three. Be that as it may, statistics of typical problems have already been accumulated. Let's start with the suspension, where squeaks and knocks from collapsed bushings and struts of the front anti-roll bar are a common phenomenon. Bushings go on our roads for 20 to 25,000 kilometers, and stabilizer struts, 60,000 kilometers, front wheel bearings with a run of around 100, it happens, already require replacement. In spare parts, they are supplied only assembled with the hub, 9,500 rubles asterisk. Well, the front levers, steering rods and tips can withstand more than 100,000 kilometers. Various malfunctions can be hidden in the transmission units, which are manifested by a hum when driving. Some specimens have oil leaks from the front gearbox and transfer case. Well, what it leads to, and so it is clear. First, oil starvation, and then the failure of the entire unit. So regular inspection of oil seals or asphalt under a standing car for leaking oil is a must. In addition, the transfer case can be finished off by improper operation. For example, prolonged slipping with the center differential lock disabled or fast driving with the differential lock. Another potentially unpleasant moment is associated with the boot of the outer CB joint, which is supplied as a spare part only with a drive. A drive with an external CB joint and anther, you can also buy it assembled with an internal one, costs 15,000 rubles. The main reason why anthers are torn is off-road sorties. Indeed, some owners believe, since there is a lower and blocking, you can safely go in azimuth. In the steering, servicemen are aware of leaks in the power steering tube. The most common aftermarket gasoline four-cylinder engine is 2.0 liters, 140 horsepower. It is difficult to say anything bad about it, although those who were lucky enough to find gas stations with gasoline of unknown origin do not think so. For example, a fuel surrogate disables the Lambda probe, 6,000 rubles. Another gasoline engine is the lot of three doors, 1.6 liters, 106 horsepower. Its advantages in economy and reliability, nothing more frankly weak, low torque and some kind of frivolous for a modern SUV. Two more engines have recently appeared, 2.4 liters, 169 horsepower, and 3.2 liters, 233 horsepower, but they are rare on used cars. Well, on the Americans, there is another one, V6 2.7L, 188 horsepower, which has proven itself well on the previous model. There is also a 1.9 liter turbo diesel, 129 horsepower in the engine lineup, but it was not officially delivered to us. All gasoline engines, except 1.6L, have a timing chain drive. But this is not a reason to consider the drive eternal. Chain wear, which is manifested by noise in the upper part of the engine, is usually an indicator of mileage well over 100,000 kilometers. Spare parts and work on replacing chains will cost about 25,000 rubles. It should be borne in mind that every 100,000 kilometers it is necessary to update the fuel filter installed in the tank, but the piquancy of the situation is that it comes complete with a fuel pump, 18,000 rubles. Gearboxes can be either mechanical or automatic. Several automatic transmission models were offered. Four-speed, rather ancient in design, causes criticism for its thoughtfulness. No such claims are made to the five-speed. In terms of reliability, these units do not raise questions. True, not all universal services know that the automatic is filled with special oil, and there is an authoritative opinion that some of the breakdowns are related precisely to the use of a product that is not recommended by the manufacturer. Problems with the manual gearbox are rare, but not excluded. As for the clutch, towing trailers by cars with the least powerful engines leads to its premature replacement, clutch kit, 13,500 rubles. The electrical part has a good reputation. Some, However, 
try to be indignant at the headlights that often burn out, but this is from the To Whom and Liquid Tea series. Although there is one typical failure. In the heating slash ventilation system, malfunctions of the stove resistor, 2,000 rubles, and the stove motor, 15,000 rubles, were noted. There are a couple of reasons for dissatisfaction with the body. The shiny emblem loses its beautiful appearance and peels off. It happens that the windshield cracks, and not from a caught stone, but by itself. Well, it seems that the list of cases included in the statistics has been exhausted. No need to conclude that the Grand Vitara is a self-propelled box filled with trouble. Our task is simply to collect more negativity. After all, it is not for nothing that the saying is relevant. If you want peace, prepare for war. In general, when by, you should make sure that the transmission is not buzzing, the seals are not leaking, the anthers on the drives are intact, the motor is not noisy. If there are no cons, then only the pros will remain, provided by a real Japanese SUV, comfortable, safe, with an excellent universal transmission.